Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. This is going to be kind of a continuation of my slash TPA video. This is going to be slash TPA, slash set home, and slash back in vanilla Minecraft. Now I'm going to actually add a schematic and a download, uh, yeah, download link. That way, if you have a server and you want to put it on the server, you can just go into the schematic and um, put it into your world. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Let's show you how these things work. Um, let me join with my alternate accounts onto this LAN world. So I'm going to be doing that right now. And one thing you're going to notice when my account joins is a little message I set up. So here we go. You can see, welcome legit blue to the server. There he is right over there. Now if legit blue logs out and then logs back in, you can see when he logs back in, if I can actually log him back in, <laughs> that it just says legit blue joined the game. So it's actually only going to say welcome when he joins the game for the first time. So I thought that that's pretty cool. It's kind of like how some servers have it. That way you know who joins the game for the first time. You can welcome them to your server. So yeah, I really like that feature. And welcome s'mores to the server. There we go. We each have individual scores. Now, I'm going to put an annotation up to my slash TPA video so you can go check it out because basically I'm not going to really explain it since I already did. I am going to show you one upgrade I made to it though. I can now up or I can now basically send a teleport request to two players and they can both accept it. So if I do trigger teleport set two and set three so I see both to legit blue and s'mores. I'm going to accept it on legit blue <clears throat> and you see I teleport to legit blue and then s'mores is going to accept it so I can teleport to s'mores so I can actually teleport to two players at once now which is pretty cool. Let's show you the other commands. Let's do trigger set home set one home successfully set. So now if I go over anywhere I do trigger home set one. I instantly go back there actually in the direction I was looking so I think that is very cool if I do it somewhere else like right there I can now just go back here whenever I want pretty cool I can delete my home as well so there we go just delete the home and if I do home set one nothing is going to happen because I now do not have a home and I'm gonna make the other players do it as well so I'm going to go into legit blue and I'm going to set his home to one and now you can see when I do home set one I instantly go back there and let me show you one thing also let's get a few wool blocks let's get black um, green and blue now I'm just going to place these in the ground right now and let's teleport s'mores onto this one or legit blue actually there we go. And then let's teleport s'mores onto this one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set everyone's set home score to 1. So let's do this. Okay, now we've all set our homes. I'm going to TP everybody at myself. And then scoreboard players set at a home 1. And we actually all go back to exactly where our homes were set. Now I'm just going to set everybody to delete their homes, TP at A, P. Now if I do it, nothing happens because we've all deleted our homes. Pretty cool. What happens if I die? Well, if I die, you can see the one bug, which really isn't a bug because it really, well, I guess it is a bug. It shouldn't happen though. It should never happen because it, it doesn't really make sense. It, it just shouldn't happen. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. According to the system, that should not happen, so this is one bug. Basically, the first time you die in this server, you will respawn where you die, but that will not happen ever again. If I die now, <clears throat> you can see I go to the spawn, which is that right there. If I die again, I go back to the spawn, and let's say I'm mining diamonds, and I die right here, and I lost all my diamonds, I want to go back. I can just do trigger, back, set one. And I'm already back there. And if I try to do it again, it's going to say back is not enabled. Because I don't want people going back to their death spot a lot. Let's say I die over here. Near the wool blocks, I do back. 
boom, I'm instantly where I died. So I thought that was pretty cool. That way you can kind of go back to your death location. It's already a command on quite a few servers. And let's get into what exactly you're going to see. Welcome to vanilla server commands related to the entire system. So if they have yellow wool blocks over them, it's going to be using or it's, those commands are going to be affecting the entire system. The blue is setting, going to, and deleting your home. So this whole section right here has to do with setting and deleting your home. The green system is going to your previous death location right there. Red is teleporting to players. So that whole system right there is just the teleporting. And um, oh, there's a little yellow ship. And purple is the last three numbers of the block under this should be changed to the coordinates of your spawn. So when you die, you basically want to change this to your spawn coordinates. That's why when I die, I end up here. And I said before, the one bug is that when you die for the first time in the server, you're going to be spawned at your death location but that's the only bug that that wasn't too bad so it's pretty cool also when you join the server you're gonna get a message that is just going to be home successfully set and home successfully deleted it seems that this is also a bug related to the trigger command I can't really get it to stop it's weird because if you enable the command for some people or if you if you enable some trigger commands, they'll just enable it. But sometimes you get this weird thing where when you enable it, it actually sets your score to 1 for some reason. I'm not sure why this happens. But as it stands, those are the only two bugs and they're really not that bad at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's about it. As I said, download and schematic in the description if you'd like to check it out. Thanks and that's about it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.